the old wood I'm using today pine beautiful patina to it it's pretty rough right now hard shape but it came from a house that my in-laws owned and lived in for a while it was built in the 1800s and it was built it was probably one of the first houses or the only house built in that particular area and these have already been sawn down these particular boards were probably about 20 inches wide old growth pine at the time which was very common probably hundreds of years old then so it's probably wood that was probably from you know started growing somewhere in the either the 15th or the 16th hundreds back in the time when North America was just being discovered by the Europeans back in the time the spirits still ran, roamed through the forest it's interesting when the house was built and when anyone ever lived in that house alone and they were there by themselves they'd always heard strange noises they never heard them when other people were living there only when they were there themselves when they tore down that house about 10 or 15 years ago they found parts of books and documents that were written in a in a dialect or a language that wasn't familiar and they looked it up and it was written in the old Celtic language Gaelic and they were parts of Bibles and scriptures rumor has it because of all the strange noises they used to hold church services there trying to remove the spirits and trying to appease them for cutting down the trees and clearing the land I don't know if that's true or not I'm not really superstitious as far as I can say this is just nice beautiful wood that is a waste and today just because of its history I thought it'd be appropriate to build a pirate's Halloween pirate treasure chest for Halloween with it. Anyway, hopefully the spirits will appreciate what I'm doing. I've planed these down to about three quarters of an inch thick. They're about ten inches high, eighteen inches long for two the front and the back, and the two sides are twelve and a half inches wide so that the overall width of the chest or the dimensions will be 18 by 14 when it's finished. I've got to leave for a few minutes, go pick up my wife and hopefully this wood will be safe while I'm gone. In order to make the arch top for the chest, the pirate chest, I've cut two pieces of wood 12 and a half inches long. And there'll be strips going across. The idea is to make an arch. And uh, the overall arch will be going from two outer edges, which is making the total radius of the outside edge is 14 inches uh, diameter. Um, and therefore the radius would be seven and a quarter, or 17, seven and a half. I marked out the radius of this and if I said it was seven and a quarter the radius is actually six six and a quarter which is half this width so that will be the inside diameter which when you put the various slats on top of here to make the final cover on here three quarters of inch that will make out the full width of uh, 14 inch or I'll have a 14 inch diameter going around. I've used a free web based program called block layer to find out what the number of slats and, and what angle to cut them um, 
and I've got those all measured out here. And for a radius of 14 inch diameter, I'll need eight, maybe nine slats, about uh, two and well, 25, 30 seconds. I'll round that at, at an angle of 78.8. Right now, I'm just going to mark out the, the diameter here. On this, on this, so finding the center, I've set up the diameter on this little trammel that I have, and I'll just put it here and measure it out. First thing I got to do is find the center point on the bottom here. So twelve and a half and a six and a quarter. So I've cut out the arcs. Just going to run the belt sand around and smooth that off from the bandsaw marks, and then I'll be ready to attach the slats to go for the roof though. Thank you. 